All right, so to pick up uh, where we left off, this should be our last video of the required materials in this uh, assignment. So um, what I did last time um, is I went ahead and I put in all of the data lightbox attributes and values that are equal to web for my um, existing slideshow of stupid green boxes. <laughs> uh, but also the, there was another data attribute that he gave an option for and it's called data title. And data title is one where uh, whenever the light box opens up, it'll actually show you whatever you want to put in that title so that that's what the viewer sees. Um, so uh, you can go ahead and use that too. I went ahead and I put data light box and data title in each and every single one of my list items. You can see it also here. And I went ahead and I named them like caption one, caption two, since my pictures don't have any meaning at all. So these are just placeholders for right now. But uh, if we save that, we can actually go ahead and preview it. And um, choose our menu, jump to it. And if we click on it, you'll see this caption right here. It says caption one. And then there's caption two, caption three. So we actually know that we're changing slides. And then we don't get an arrow here anymore because we're at the end of the, the run. And then, OK, you can go the other way. So that's working. All right, really simple. So pretty much uh, all you'd need to do now is go and uh, find the pictures that you really want to use and stick them in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create um, another section that's got you know, photography or something, because there are a lot of people who want to have multiple sections like, you know, graphic design, web design, illustration, painting, drawing, whatever. Um, so let's go back uh, to Komodo Edit, and I am going to take my entire section that starts with H3, and I'm going to just uh, give it a couple lines here down, and I'm going to put a comment now that I know that I want to have more than one portfolio section. And I'm gonna do. Oops. I want to do an HTML comment that basically says uh, web. Oops. Web portfolio. By the way, do not turn in anything that has a bunch of color blocks for your portfolio. Uh, that'll get you a big fat bad grade. Okay. Um, all right. So here's my web portfolio. So if I want to take this and go all the way down until I get the end of my list, unordered list. I can uh, copy that. And if I really wanted, I could, you know, oops, I didn't mean to do that. If I really wanted, um, I could go, and at the end of my list, I could put another comment that uh, basically indicates end of web portfolio or something like that. Okay. And then let's come down here. And let's paste this. And then this time, instead of it being web, we're going to say that this is photography. Okay. Um, and this is where I would go and put in all of the, uh, the names of my other files. I think I, I showed you in my portfolio that I went ahead and I have some other things like canoe on lake, railroad tracks, and so forth. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and replace those. I'm not going to make you watch me do it, though. OK, so uh, I went ahead and I made my web portfolio section, or I should call this photography. Photography. OK, my photography portfolio section changed the H3 to photography, and then um, basically put my actual pictures in here and then those are my thumbnails i used the uh, naming convention of starting my thumbnails with thumb underscore and then using the same file name as the big picture just easy to keep it straight um, and uh, yeah so i have my uh, data title and it actually in this case it matches my alt text which is really kind of good because if javascript breaks or if someone doesn't have html5 or whatever then then this isn't something that they would get, but whatever. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> hit save. And uh, actually, let's preview it, see how it looks. And 
There's the web development part. Here's the photography part. And it seems like it's good to go. Okay. And you should check all of your pictures to make sure that they all load properly because every once in a while you might get a, a big one or maybe a bad file name or something. Now, see how these are hovering? Well, you don't have to have that happen. The reason that I, I had you guys go ahead and do that though, or at least the reason I did it, was because there's something that we could do if, let's say that you have a whole bunch of um, different portfolios and you wanna hide them until you click on it and you click on it and it opens, toggles open, toggles closed, you can do that. I'm not gonna require that you do that, but it's something that you really might consider, um, but uh, we can do that separately. For now, the most important things are that you have everything functional that we did in these videos uh, in the demonstrations and that you style everything really well. If you've got a bunch of techno pro technical proficiency and it looks terrible, then it doesn't matter. It looks terrible. Um, so you need to make sure that everything is working. One thing I really strongly recommend that you consider doing is with your personal f profile, I didn't do it here, but if you're comfortable with it, you might wanna include a snap snapshot and have it float to the left of your text, or you could even have it you know, centered right above your text or something. It's really nice to have that personal profile picture if you are comfortable with it. And make sure, of course, that it's appropriate and somewhat professional looking, even if it's just a happy looking picture. Make sure it's not like, you know, you holding a, a red party cup. Okay, um, skills. Uh, I really do want you to do something more than just words. Um, you know, I, I think that you should explore making some really simple image. I mean, th these are these are really not complicated images. You could make some simple images, whether they're SVGs, PNGs, whatever. Um, they could be more attractive than this. This is just an example. Um, <clears throat> so I want you to maybe consider some different ways of doing some stuff from the way I did it. The other thing that you know you might consider doing as well is maybe looking at making some of these backgrounds, you know, colored in a way that sets the different sections apart. That's totally acceptable. That is the main reason that we ended up sticking divs around uh, the content inside of the sections, because then that way you can set the and you can like set something for like experience ID to be a certain color, certain background color. In fact, let's just take a quick peek, and we can do that really fast. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to make a new section for experience because we don't have one to the best of my re recollection. So here's profile <coughs> skills. So let's come down here after port or before portfolio, after skills, and I'm going to copy this. And we're going to just make something for experience and we're probably not going to keep this but this is just to give you an example I'm also going to copy this as well and we'll change that to experience and uh, oops sorry to do that okay um, let's just say that the background For what the what the heck? Let's just make the background um, that URL that same URL that we used. Uh, let's say images, Arial. No, nope, it's spelled Arial. Dot JPEG. And this time we're gonna say no repeat, um, which is the same as last time. And um, this time, let's say that it's going to be uh, center, center, which is different from last time. I think last time it was top or something like that. I don't remember. Actually, it probably was center, center. But let's just leave it like that. And this time, let's not give it a background cover and let's just see what happens. I misspelled experience. Let's try that again. Save that. Let's do this again. And now let's go to experience and see. 
and in fact experience now has a background image so you can play around with that too i would be careful though and not go crazy with it um just be aware that you know it does get kind of hard to read sometimes text on top of pictures make sure that it's an appropriate image um, you know you could also screen an image back even more than this and it might be kind of nice the other thing that you're going to have to pay attention to is uh, you're going to have to style it differently so that say down here there's more padding so you might want to come and let's say at the bottom of something like this you could say padding bottom and then let's do 2m or something like that let's see what happens yeah let's just refresh the page and then yeah so you've now you've got extra padding down there at the bottom so it feels you know comfortable um, and let's just make sure yeah so experiences it goes up underneath but we still have the word so you know that's that's maybe not a bad way to to consider doing this you know um, is to to try to find some other images i really wouldn't put an image though behind portfolio because you're going to have other images but play around with it and have fun but you are absolutely required for this to look good to have relevant content that is relevant to you and that all of the stuff that we've been that i've required so far is fully functional and that this page is fully responsive that you're using media queries and so forth before you try the next thing okay